Welcome back once again to another episode of Fallout Mods Monthly. As always, I'm going to show you my five favourite mods that I'll be using in Fallout 4 for the foreseeable future. Now, let's get on with it. The first mod that we have for January is Lower Equipment and Junk Weight by Doom. Not me, by the way. This mod's purpose is pretty simple. It, well, lowers the weight of junk items so you can lighten your load while you're out in the wasteland. Specifically, this mod lowers the weight of junk you use for crafting, which makes this mod super helpful, especially when you're gathering supplies for building stuff or crafting new weapon mods. You know the drill. Which, as you know, I do quite often build a lot of stuff, so obviously this mod is quite essential to me. Other people may not want to because of, obviously, the downside of the mod is technically you're cheating. Technically. Because you're able to carry more supplies than you would do normally because essentially halves the weight of most items or decreases them quite a lot and essentially makes it so you can carry a lot more equipment than you would normally, although this only applies to junk items, so it's literally just stuff you use for crafting or ammunition for your junk jet. So, on to mod number two. Now this is something a lot more specific, and this is CBB Full Body Tattoos Mega Pack by Mook Gamer. Now, like I said last month, I wasn't getting CBB until mods started coming out for it. So that happened, and now we're here. With a tattoo mod that, uh, as you will see, or probably already have by this point, there are some variations in the packs available. In fact, there are three. There is Pirate, Bad Girl, and Demon Worshipper. Now, personally, I went for Pirate, but of course, different people have different tastes, so it's up to you. Now, of course, the downside to this mod comes from CB itself, because the uh, with me wanting to keep my game as PG as possible, especially for YouTube, and the fact that I don't really need it to be anything more than that, you know, I don't see the point in having all the weird mods installed. But using the Never Nude version, you can't actually see like any of the tattoos, so you have to use the nude version, which then obviously gives you the problem of having the nude version installed, so you have to find other methods to prevent that, which means going and finding other mods, which is a bit of an issue, but I have managed to figure out for my own game. Obviously, you guys are going to want to go out there and try and find your own preferences and your own ways to fix it, because everyone's different, everyone has different tastes. Next up, we have a mod that aims to balance the playing field, so to speak, and that is Hatchling Grenades by Devon Hartman. Now, what this mod does is what it says on the tin. It adds grenades that allow you to spawn in Myalurk Hatchlings that fight for you. Now, to get these, you have to go to the entrance to Vault 111, and there's a crate with a crap load of them in it. Now, you can fight back against those pesky crabs with uh, their own babies. So, you know, a middle finger to the Myalurk Queen. So, downsides, yeah, there's a bit of an issue with them in the sense that um, occasionally if you throw too many, it will trigger them to fight you again. And these aren't your ordinary hatchlings. These things are actually quite tough. It takes a fair few shots with my shotgun in uh, stealth mode, essentially, which deals over 300 damage. So, you know, they take kind of a beating, which is a bit of an issue when you've thrown all quite a few of them and you have a swarm coming after you. So uh, try and use your swarms sparingly. On to mod number four. Spears Board Replacer Standalone by Billy Rowe. Now, much like the previous mod, this mod does what it says in the title, although this title's a little strange, so let me break it down for you. Now what this mod does is adds either a replacer or a standalone version of Spears into the game. Now the spears replace the board, as you'd have guessed, and they do this in multiple different texture qualities. They have 1K, 2K, 4K, and essentially the spear just looks kind of badass by itself, but there are also upgrades you can get for the spear which are unique to the spear. They're not like board upgrades just retextured. No, they're actually pretty damn cool looking. You can add different spikes and things to it, and essentially you make a pretty badass looking pole weapon. Now, the standalone is pretty much the same as the replacer. The only real difference is that in order to get the spear with the standalone version, you have to craft it at a chemistry station. Now, we're done with all the weapon mods and the CBB and the other thing that I've already forgotten, which is impressive. We're on to something a little more relaxed and refined, and that is Radban Eyewear by 
seeds. Uh, now this mod adds glasses to the game. You may think that's stupid, but let me give you the sales pitch. <clears throat> Nuka Cola, the creators of the world's greatest soft drink, pulled together some talented fashionists, scientists, and radiation specialists in 2076 to bring you a new line of eyewear for you to glow in the Commonwealth. In the unforeseen event of a total atomic annihilation, Radban lenses employ a Nukatech radiation application that produces a small field around the user, minimizing the effects of radiation. Wow, science. So, what can you get? Well, five models of the Radban Sniper, which comes in gold and black together. Black separately, gold separately, pink and silver. As well as two models of the Radban Soft Shell, which are Myalurk, Turquoise and Deathclaw Black. Now, the Radban Snipers give you plus one perception and plus 20 rad resistance, and the Soft Shell range give you plus one intelligence and plus 20 rad resistance as well. Now, before I send you on your merry way, here is January's bonus mod, Pose Anyway, by Invalid Fate. And this is the second month in a row that I'm featuring Invalid Fate's mods in the end bonus section, and that's because of Invalid Fate's mod, Pose Anyway, because this is a mod I'm dying to see improve and continue to be updated, because right now this is the only Pose mod that I've found available. Until, I guess, Halo Farm decides to port all his mods over if he ever does that, which I really kind of hope he does, because some of them are really good. But Pose Anyway essentially just allows you to pose your character in different stances or poses, as you could have guessed, uh, by using the console currently. In Skyrim, there were items you could equip to your characters, and you could press the uh, auto-equip key, so it would change based on that. But obviously, because we haven't got the creation kit, we currently have to just go with the console command way of doing it. Obviously, Invalid Fate has quite a few different poses, and obviously, well, not obviously, hopefully, more ideas coming, because some of these are really cool, and I really like using them for screenshots and thumbnails. So, there you go, guys. It's a great little mod if you just want to play around and make thumbnails or show off your badass characters. But, uh, anyway, thank you guys and gals for watching, and have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.